Guess who's back? Back again. I like the fried in my two seater. Uh, 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 uh. Trapey dipping in the building. You know what time it is. Got my man Jace in the background. Say what's up, Jace. <laughs> Hey man, I got a crazy one for y'all today. So my very first prelude is outside. I'll tell y'all the backstory in a second, but stay tuned for this one. The grape kush is back. Yeah, yeah, you can go ahead. Guess who's back? Back again. So this car is pre-YouTube channel, but this was my second ever prelude. Called it the Great Kush. I'll throw some pictures. Matter of fact, I think I did a story time on this car a while back, but I'll throw some pictures to show you what it used to look like in its former glory. But me and Kato, you know what I'm saying? Clutch Kessel. We just got back from going to Baltimore with the tootin' snoops and the bootin' coots. <laughs> and um, we just picked the grape kush back up, man. And uh, I couldn't, the dude, the previous owner, the original guy I sold it to, sold it to the guy I bought it from, but they were getting ready to part it out because the motor was blown. And uh, I was like, nah, we can't do that. So I had to go get it. So, need some, need some TLC, but we're gonna get it right. And uh, I hope y'all not tired of that Prelude content. <laughs> well, yeah, man, right. All right, so now, as you can see, I got the Great Kush in the shop, and um, Kenny already started working on it. Quick backstory on it, I don't wanna fraud out but basically I sold this car eight years ago or well, back in 2017 the end of 2017 I sold the car um, to a guy in Baltimore he drove it for five or six years and he just recently sold it to a, uh, a guy um, who I just bought it from and he bought it as a private car for his girl they quickly realized that they actually brought it down um, they actually brought the car down uh, about a month and a half ago and they thought there was an issue with the tune and they said what, what better person to take a look at than who built it so they brought it I took a look at it as soon as they started it up I instantly realized that the head gasket was shot um, and they were gonna initially gonna fix it themselves but I guess they got into it and they noticed that there was a crack in the block so I'm gonna show you what we found so the crack that they were talking about, this piece, where, and where'd you find this piece? It was just- This is part of the tension. No, but I'm saying when you found it, was it still on there or you just- Yeah. It was still connected? Yeah, it was in there. Well, you know, this was through sitting in there because you got the bolt holding it in mm -hmm. there. But realistically, so, that ain't supposed to be like that. So Kenny calls me, because Kenny was working on it while I was uh, on a family trip. Now it's in the water. Right. And long story short, this is the crack that they found. For those of you who have ever done a water pump before, you'll know that this is not the block. This is the actual water pump, which is an easily replaceable part. So, basically the motor is still good. <laughs> which I thought, I mean, I'll show you guys. I mean, I got a little mini JDM warehouse going on over here. So I had plenty of options. I had plenty of options to swap into the car. So, like I said, I wasn't worried about it, but now we're finding out that the motor is actually still good. So, what we've done is we've pulled the head off already, we've replaced the head gasket, and um, we're, got, we're gonna basically uh, pull the, we're getting ready to pull the motor now because 
Uh, this is a T2, T4 transmission, which I'm definitely 100% keeping. So I have a spare trans, non-LSD, that I'm gonna put in here. But it's easier to just go ahead and pull the whole motor and then uh, do everything out of the car. So put you guys on the time lapse and we'll show you what we got going on. So we got the motor out, as you can see from the time lapse, and um, it actually didn't take us that long, probably like what, an hour? Yeah, so. Right, right, don't worry about that. Basically, this is the T2, T4 that I'm trying to keep, and this one is the M2, M2S4, which should be, if I'm not mistaken, the H23 non VTEC trans. Um, the SI trains so perfectly good trains I just want to keep that one because you know them LSDs is hard to come by trains is off and uh, I just actually finished upgrading to a twin disc in my, uh, my other prelude the main one so I'm thinking this is the OEM clutch or a OEM clutch, and uh, it doesn't look like it's in bad shape, but I figured I'd take advantage and go ahead and throw the, uh, that stage four in here while I got it apart. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll get the uh, that trains thrown on, and then start reassembling, do the timing, and get ready to throw it back in the car. button up we just threw the battery in there um, the car was not running when we picked it up but it was running the last time I saw it so fixing the head gasket and the water pump should take care of the issues it was having I don't know what else, what other problems is having the one thing a couple things that I noticed one thing was that it has um, high impedance injectors in it now and usually when you do that, it needs to be retuned because the old injector dead times are for the old ones. So I need to change the dead times, which I don't even know what type of injectors they are. So I'm gonna have to try to reach out to the old dude and see what injectors he put in there. And then two, um, I have to probably do a little tune on it. It should run, because it was running when he, last time I saw it, but it's probably gonna be running a little rough. So. Alright, here we go. Back at it. Let's try it again. Okay, okay, okay.